Well, good morning. Uh, we have been considering this past week uh, some discipleship questions around how we can hear the voice of God and have a high degree of reliability that we're really hearing from Him. Now, let me just review them real quickly. Uh, question number one was the adoption question. Jesus, how can you be so good to me when I'm so unsorted? Question number two was the ambassador question. Jesus, how can I love and serve the people that you've put in my life? Now today we're gonna to look at question number three and that's the abundant life question. Jesus, what are you speaking to me today? One of my favorite quotes by Dallas Willard who gets quoted a lot because he's quoted in the book a lot uh, is a quote on prayer where he said, prayer is nothing more than talking to God about what we're doing together today. <laughs> well, um, as you go through your day, you, you might wanna say, you know, God, what are you speaking to me today? What do you got up? What do you got planned? That's what makes life an adventure. That's what makes it rich. It's what makes it abundant. When you feel like you're having this interactive relationship with the God of the universe and he's guiding your steps and he's leading you and he's speaking to you. Well, let me tell you a story that kind of illustrates this. Uh, actually, just a couple weeks ago, I have been a, a part of a, a group of uh, pastors and Christian leaders who meet on a Zoom call, a three-hour Zoom call, once a month. We've been doing this for the last nine months. And uh, so we decided to have our retreat in Pittsburgh, our in-person retreat, which would be the first time we would get to see anybody in person. Uh, but four of us actually lived in uh, Pittsburgh. And so uh, Karen and I were actually planning the meals and the budget and so forth. And as we're just going through that, uh, that uh, exercise, we, it dawned on us that, you know, we're really getting out of this pretty cheap. Um, the other guys are having to pay to fly in or to drive in. They're having to uh, uh, get rent of cars. They're having to pay for their meals. When they get there, and we say, you know, it would make a lot of sense for us to just kind of spread out those costs and we'll do it. We'll just take care of the groceries. We'll take care of the meals. We'll even get a rent a car for some of the guys that had to fly in from, a, uh, from quite a distance. Well, you know, as I, as I began to reflect on that, and think now was that God speaking to me or was that just a you know just a, an idea well let me give you some uh, a little test a little template that you can use to kind of ask yourself that question when you when you find yourself thinking now is is that internal nudge or prompting that I'm feeling is that God speaking to me is that idea that, that came into my mind was was that just an idea or was that God speaking ask yourself these questions um, is it consistent with God's character? Is it consistent with God's call on my life? Uh, is it true? Is it wise? Now, as I, as I, thought, through about those, as I thought through those things, I, I, I said, well, of course it's consistent with God's character because God is a giving God. God so loved that he what? He gave. Um, God is a generous God and he calls us to be his what? Image bearers, which means we are to be generous. He calls us to be generous. Is it true? Yeah, the Bible says it's more blessed to give than to receive. And uh, is it wise? Well, if, if, if God told us to do it, we can be sure that it's wise because God is a wise God. He knows the intricate interrelationships between our minds and bodies and so forth. And we know from experience that when we are generous, when we give, we feel good about it. In fact, I remember just last week, uh, Mark uh, said, I got more joy out of giving than I did out of getting. Well, I hope you'll look for opportunities to pray that prayer and ask God, what are you speaking to me today?